squirrels. Bushy-tailed rodents found all over the world that belong to the Sayuridae family, which includes prairie dogs, chipmunks, and marmots. Though there are 200 types of species, they can be categorized into three types, tree squirrels, ground squirrels, and flying squirrels. Join us as we learn a little more about this fascinating, adorable creature. When it comes to squirrels, most of us see them, sometimes daily, but don't give them a second thought. I was the same way. That is, until one of my dogs brought a baby squirrel to my door. The mother was nowhere to be found, so we fed her and took extra special care of her. I believe she was around two weeks old when she was brought to me and she is approaching six weeks now. Caring for this majestic creature has taught me so much about them. So much so, that I thought I'd share some awesome facts about them. Stay tuned to the end of the video for some photos of our rescue squirrel, named Susie. Squirrels are generally small animals, ranging in size from the African pygmy squirrel and least pygmy squirrel at up to 5.5 inches in total length and just under a pound in weight, to the Bhutan giant flying squirrel at around 4 feet 2 inches in total length, and several marmot species, which can weigh 18 pounds or more. Squirrels typically have slender bodies with very long very bushy tails and large eyes, and their fur is soft and silky, though much thicker in some species than others. In most squirrel species, the hind limbs are longer than the forelimbs, while all species have either four or five toes on each foot. The feet, which include an often poorly developed thumb, have soft pads on the undersides and versatile, sturdy claws for grasping and climbing. Tree squirrels, unlike most mammals, can descend a tree head first. They do so by rotating their ankles 180 degrees, enabling the hind feet to point backward and thus grip the tree bark from the opposite direction. Squirrels live in almost every habitat, from tropical rainforest to semi-arid desert, avoiding only the high polar regions and the driest of deserts. They are predominantly herbivorous, subsisting on seeds and nuts, but many will eat insects and even small vertebrates. As their large eyes indicate, squirrels have an excellent sense of vision, which is especially important for the tree-dwelling species. Many also have a good sense of touch, with fibrosy on their limbs as well as their heads. Many juvenile squirrels die in the first year of life. Adult squirrels can have a lifespan of 5 to 10 years in the wild. Some can survive 10 to 20 years in captivity. Premature death may occur when a nest falls from the tree, in which case the mother may abandon her young if their body temperature is not correct. Many such baby squirrels have been rescued and fostered by a professional wildlife rehabilitators until they could be safely returned to the wild, although the density of squirrel populations in many places and the constant care required by premature squirrels means that few rehabilitators are willing to spend their time doing this and such animals are routinely euthanized instead. Squirrels mate either once or twice a year and following a gestation period of three to six weeks, give birth to a number of offspring that varies by species. The young are altricial, being born naked, toothless, and blind. In most species of squirrel, the female alone looks after the young, which are weaned at 6 to 10 weeks and become sexually mature by the end of their first year. As promised, here are some photos and a couple of videos of our rescue squirrel we named Susie.
So, what did you think of our video on squirrels? Has anyone ever rescued one, or owned one as a pet? Leave a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.